OMG BBG! Welcome back to a brand new unboxing. We have Gambit Dragon and uh, this other nobody, Ambush Achilles A8. <laughs> but we're mainly here for Gambit Dragon because this is Dante or Drum's brand new bay that he will be using in Beyblade Burst Quad Strike, which is right around the corner actually. So you'll see this guy in there battling it out and hopefully doing some crazy stuff. But so far, it's looking pretty plain. Yeah, well, this is the exact design that's going to be shown in the anime too because yeah. Hasbro is pretty much owning the show in this season. And we confirmed already that they will be using Hasbro base in that anime. So do whatever you want with that information. Quad cry, strike. Cry about it, celebrate about it, whatever. Like where's all the colors that we're used to seeing in Tempest Dragon and all that stuff, right? And you know, Gatling Dragon had some colors too. There's, there's just a lot of details. It's not just the that. colors, man. Uh, yeah, but I accepted the fact that these bays are <laughs> trash now, you know, just whatever. Anyways, it's Quad Strike, it's brand new, we have to unbox it. It's pretty exciting still seeing these in the stores. At least stores are pumping these out, right? So let's take a look at the back of the box. Don't forget that this is a right spinning attack type. And of course there is four ways to play. It's a four in one bay, you have Apex mode, you have your core mode, core plus, Apex plus, yada yada. Really though? 13 in attack, is it really going to be that aggressive of a bay? Is it going to hit that hard? Because Gathering Dragon never hit that hard to begin with in the Takeratomi version. It was an attack type, but it did not hit that hard. It was a way more circular oval bay. And it was like rather passive, it didn't move very quickly in its stock combo, so this is... This is Cap right there, boys. I don't know about this one. Ambush Achilles A8, you probably don't care about this bay, but it is a right spinning defense type. Also four ways to play, obviously. And it seems like it's a direct counter to Gambit Dragon. It's 13 in defense. So I guess if these are the only two bays you have and you're battling against these two, your ambush Achilles A8 would technically win, I guess, since it has type advantage. But who knows? Looking at the parts, we of course have the traditional Hasbro codes for all the parts here. G07, QD11, TB14-Q, A08, armor tip, all that means nothing to us, obviously. We like to call it with the regular names, but let's just get to the unboxing. Let's see what Hasbro has done with Dante's Bay. It is a dual pack, at least. So you do have to pay a little bit more to get that extra bay. But I'd rather them just come up with just Dragon, so you don't have to pay a <laughs> little bit more money for true. something you don't want. So true. And there we go, our wax paper. The packaging, wow. The who knows? EOA. Like this anime, it's brand new. Like episode one is not even out yet, so who knows? Yeah. Maybe this other character is like super important or something. Well, let's hope so because this is already looking pretty disappointing. Like, what is this? There's such a lack of colors and details, it's insane. It's gonna ride around the stadium like Hypersphere. Yeah, that's the only good thing about Quad Strike right now, really, is that there's a new anime and they're kind of bringing back this Hypersphere esque ability, which but is kind of cool. Hypersphere also is something that people didn't really vibe with, too. Yeah, right? because it did, like, you know, stray too far from traditional Beyblade, but, like, compared to Slingshock and all that stuff, like, and Quad Drive, I actually liked Hypersphere because the stadium designs were cool. They had to make Hypersphere so that they could bring the designs of the stadium to life. So, I give them a pass on that one. Everything has been taken apart. Let's dive in and take a closer look. Although a closer look isn't going to make you feel much better. Don't go uh, too close too. Yeah, let's just take a quick peek at everything, okay guys? So Gambit Dragon, starting with the strike chip. Where is Dragon? I barely see him. So he has the green eyes there. Looks like you got the gold claws or something, but it's very hard to see Dragon in there. Remember that the original version, Gatling Dragon, was actually a bound chip. So that gave it the bound ability for its lair. Obviously, no springs here. If you were expecting that, then you're just being silly. There were a lot of like rainbow colored stickers that really made this chip pop. And of course, all those details are gone. Same thing goes for the energy layer base. Once again, the gold accents remain, but those are usually covered up by some rainbow colored stickers and we have none of that there. So from the top, the energy layer is looking very, very plain. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna you know play out in the anime. Maybe when he's you know doing special moves, that's when the rainbow turbo stuff comes out, or are they just not even gonna bother with that theme? Yeah, that's so true because they did keep that consistent when he was in Sparking too, right? Like his special moves and stuff. Like there was still like some rainbow colors in there when the avatar came out, 
With the original, the abilities were to unlock the wings, or basically awaken the wings mid-battle, and then it's supposed to stick out a bit more and do some extra damage. There are no moving parts in this version, obviously, and it's shrunken a little bit. It definitely does not look as wide, as oval, as the original. We get ourselves a Hasbro version of the Karma Disc. It does have an aggressive shape, but of course it is very lightweight compared to the original as well. Very hollow. If you flip to the back, there's not much going on. Now moving over to the Gravity Ring, this one looks funky. Like I don't immediately recognize this one and like compare it to like any Takeratomi one. I don't even know. Like, this is a Hasbro exclusive for sure. The original version came with 10. According to the Beyblade community, this is four dash. Hasbro exclusive, like of all things to make exclusive and like all things to make special, you chose the gravity ring when it's like one of the most useless parts. What, whatever. For the performance set, this looks like Zephyr. We're not getting the charge metal dash. They just gave us something else that has a whole flat. So, okay. It's not super aggressive, but that changes with the A08 armor tip. You can see that the base is very, very wide and flat. So this one should be a little bit more aggressive. Now moving over to the other bay that you probably don't care about, you're definitely not buying this dual pack for this release. This is Ambush Achilles A8. The colors look pretty good. The Achilles A8 strike chip you can get from Zeal Achilles, obviously. Get yourself the Ambush Energy Layer base, which we've seen before. Two Gravity Ring. You get the Equilon Dash Q disc, which we've seen is pretty funky looking one. Hasbro exclusive once again. Get a TS19-Q performance tip and a D07 armor tip. From the design of these, you can definitely tell not as aggressive as Gambit Dragons, obviously, because this is supposed to be a defense type. Now that we talked about all the parts, let's put it together so you can see what this Gambit Dragon really looks like. If you can even recognize it as Gambit Dragon. Probably not gonna be that happy about it. But you probably will see it in the anime, so you'll recognize it. Okay, seeing it in the anime is definitely a plus. That's it, boys. Right there. So plain. You even get a gray armor tip. It's like everything's so mellow with this. So what happened gray, to so all light. the rainbows? What happened to the colors, the details? <laughs> this is night and day. It's insane. I already put together the other way, Ambush, because I didn't care about it. <laughs> but there you go, that's what Ambush Achilles looks like. Actually, Ambush looks better. I'm not gonna lie. Like the front, right? That's, More details. Yeah, that's pretty damn sad. But yeah, it's so sad to see Dragon without even a face. Like, bruv, where is my, like, rainbow turbo stuff? You know what I mean? Like, what the heck is this? That's sad. But this is going to be an anime, so we got to put up with it. It's probably going to be cool in the anime. Let's do a test spin. Three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. So this is with the armor tip. Yep. Moving a decent amount. Not bad, not bad. Taking advantage of the rails. Three, two, one, go. Now without the armor tip. It's just the whole flat tip. Yep. Zephyr driver apparently. Not really climbing up as uh, aggressively. Yeah. So we can see that there is a difference already. Alright. Shall we do a battle against uh, Ambush Achilles? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Go. Be my capture. So that means uh, you should win, theoretically. But I win. <laughs> oh wait, that's plus one for dragon, I guess. Okay, we gotta launch ambush Achilles even harder. I'm taking the armor tip off again. I'm going with my core mode here. Three, Three two, one. one. Climbing up the quad zone. Gambit Dragon looks... Does it look extra big? I don't know. Hard Ooh, to tell. A little, little, bit, little bit wider than Ambush. But nowhere near the presence of the original Gatling Dragon. Yeah, you want again. But yeah, the original Gatling Dragon actually is shaped more oval. Because once yeah. it's awakened, yeah, the wings like protrude out. But here it's uh, yeah, just one, one form. So BBGs, that is it for our unboxing on the dual pack. I can't even tell which is like the right side up because Dragon's I face know. is like so messed up. It doesn't up. even have a face, it uh, only have eyes. So annoying. So here's the verdict, okay? Buy it, consider it, avoid it. You already know my answer. Let's just avoid this one, boys. Like, I'm not really feeling it. So the other ones, 
that we unboxed from Quad Strike. Some of them you might want to consider. They just seem a little bit cooler. I don't know. There's just so much missing from Dragon. I just can't even look at this the same way, man. And Max, though, just consider it. I, there is no chance that I'd be going out running to go buy this, especially because it's a dual pack, so the prices are higher, too. Word. Right? So I would just say avoid this one, boys. That is it, okay? Hopefully the anime will make this better. I mean, once we see it in action in the show, I'm sure that we're gonna warm up to this. But for now though, I would probably just, yeah, wait this one out, wait for it to go on sale, okay? All right, like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, geeks out. out.